August 2011. Worldview 2 photographs an ancient enigma in the heart of Transylvania. Eight huge mounds. These mounds are so large, they can be seen from space. They almost look like pyramids that have been worn down and then grass has just sort of grown over them. The question is, why are they there? What's inside of them? We just simply don't know at this point. For historian Andrew Goff, the mounds represent an irresistible challenge. When I first look at these aerial images, it's really intriguing. To me, these images could very well be burial mounds. I'm willing to bet that what we have here is the grave of someone very important indeed. The only way to resolve the mystery is to head for Romania and take a three and a half hour drive from the capital of Bucharest to the small village of Sona in the heart of Transylvania, the so-called land beyond the forest. We're entering Transylvania. The place has really kept its medieval feel. In fact, it still feels a bit weird, creepy. There are many local superstitions surrounding the mounds. It is believed by the locals that if you leave a razor blade next to these mounds, it'll sharpen itself. That water left by these mounds will in fact gain some type of magical healing properties. We just turn the corner and all of a sudden, they're right in front of us and they're huge. The locals call them Guru Ieti, literally piles of earth. The tallest is 100 feet high, the longest 200 feet across. Wow, look at that. You know, they're much bigger than I thought they would be. You just can't gauge things. And when you're looking at a satellite, you always think it's gonna be much smaller in person. But these things are huge. There's no geological explanation for the Guru Yeti, but there is a kind of ancient mound known to archeologists. They call them tells and they're formed by the detritus of former civilizations dating back thousands of years, prehistoric garbage dumps. Tell structures are basically material from a society that lived in that area that was built up over the centuries and perhaps thousands of years. But no artifacts have been found in the area, and these hills are the wrong shape. They're really quite steep. That somewhat argues against the existence of a tell. Even if they are not tells, these hills are old and part of local folklore. The work perhaps of the ancient ancestors of the Transylvanians living here. Another theory is that the Dacians lived in this area and perhaps built these mounds before the Romans arrived. The Dacians were a local tribe who lived here from 500 BC. When their king, Decabalus, defies the Roman Empire, he signs his own death warrant. Their doomed war against the Romans was actually depicted on Trajan's column. Standing 98 feet tall, Trajan's column in Rome records the empire's victory against the Dacians in a 620-foot frieze that spirals around it. At its climax, Decabalus chooses to slit his throat rather than be captured. Today in Romania, he's a national hero, but with his death, Dacian culture is suppressed ruthlessly. Maybe these burial mounds didn't occur all at once, but maybe they are the tombs of ancient Dacians who would bring their kings or queens or chieftains here over time. This theory holds that these mounds are part of a region-wide network of landscape elements that are actually linked and have meaning as ceremonial sites to the Dacian people. The only way to test out the Dacian theory is to excavate. But when Andrew rings his local contacts, he's surprised at what he hears. Well, that was interesting. They told me that not only are excavations banned from the site, but they always have been. So we have no idea what's there. Even during the communist regime, when the lands surrounding this area were divided up for individual agricultural plots, Nobody would touch this area. The authorities left this alone. So what is everyone so scared of? Andrew heads for Sona to find out. 
the blacksmith knows all the local legends. Giants. So there is too much earth to carry to be made by, uh, by man. The mounds are certainly giant size, but it's unlikely that a myth about giant boot scrapings is enough to justify a government ban. What do the mounds contain that they don't want disturbed? Returning to the satellite image, Andrew searches for any clues. Close by, he finds the medieval citadel of Sigishwara. It's a place infamous for one thing above all else. This is the birthplace of Vlad Dracula, the very real and genuinely terrifying prince of Wallachia. Vlad was revered as a hero among his own people. He was absolutely viewed as a terrible, bloodthirsty villain by his enemies. Vlad is born here in Sigishwara in 1431. His father is a member of the Order of Dragons, the Dracul, hence Vlad's childhood nickname, Dracula, son of the dragon. As he turns into the monster he becomes, he gains another chilling name, Vlad Dracula the Impaler. This is the room where Dracula was born. How amazing is that? And this one painting tells us why people thought Vlad the Impaler was Dracula. Just look at this image. His victims are being impaled while these people are still alive. It's bloody, it's gory, it's shocking, and he's having a meal while that is going on. It must have been an expression of absolute power. All of his enemies surrounding him, all of them impaled and dead, and him having a meal. According to the history books, Vlad Dracula is killed by Ottoman troops in 1476. It is said he was beheaded, but it is still unknown exactly where he was buried. I can't help but wonder, someone so infamous and someone whose tomb has never been found, could the satellite image, could that possibly be the undiscovered tomb of Vlad and his court? The shape of the mounds does reflect one known ritual of vampire burial in Transylvania. Vampire lore and vampire burials are still very common in the area. There's a very strong belief that vampires can rise from the dead. In order to prevent vampires from returning, Transylvanian villagers turn their graveyards into prisons for the undead, staking corpses in the heart or weighing them down with stones. There have been graves that have been found with large stones on top of the deceased to keep them from rising from the dead to haunt the living as vampires. Imagine laying out a member of your family in a coffin, but then having to take the added precaution of driving a stake through their heart, covering the body with stones to prevent them from rising again. Could these huge mounds glimpsed in the satellite image be massive stones or piles of stone designed to weigh down vampires? These mounds are so huge, if there are any vampires down there, they're sure not going anywhere because they weigh tons and tons. The only way to be certain is to investigate the site thoroughly, but that would require centuries of superstition to be overcome. Nobody has disturbed these mounds and nobody seems to have the stomach to do it. I would love if this could be proven to be the burial place of Vlad. But it's just screams of a Dacian cemetery, a royal cemetery. The only way to unearth the mystery of these mounds is to excavate with proper archaeology. Until that happens, we're just going to be guessing. 